In this video, I am delving deep into a concept that's not only intriguing but also transformative, how the universe seems to reward those who practice retention. While exploring this topic, I stumbled upon a fascinating parallel in one of my favorite films, Seven, featuring Brad Pitt. This cinematic masterpiece isn't the focus of our discussion, but it offers a poignant entry point into our main subject. The film's exploration of the seven deadly sins, particularly lust and sloth, sets the stage for a broader conversation about self-control, spiritual enlightenment, and personal growth. The seven deadly sins, as depicted in the movie, are more than just religious or moral guidelines. They are reflective of the struggles many face in their daily lives. Lust and sloth, for example, are not merely sins in the traditional sense, but symptoms of a deeper malaise affecting modern society. These sins represent a departure from our higher aspirations and a descent into a state of inertia that can feel like a personal hell. Hell, as traditionally conceived, is often viewed as a place of eternal torment reserved for sinners in the afterlife. However, a more nuanced understanding of this concept suggests that hell can be experienced here on Earth through the consequences of our actions and choices. Engaging in behaviors that align with these sins such as excessive consumption of adult content or living a sedentary lifestyle, can trap us in a cycle of guilt, shame, and dissatisfaction. This cycle is not just a personal affliction. It reflects a broader societal issue where instant gratification is often prioritized over long-term well-being. The traditional view of hell and sin, while perhaps intended to guide moral behavior, can sometimes obscure the deeper truth that our actions have inherent consequences on our mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Against this backdrop, seed retention emerges as a practice with profound implications. Beyond its immediate benefits, increased energy, sharper focus, and improved physical health, seed retention offers a path to reclaiming control over one's life and destiny. It's about breaking free from the chains of immediate pleasure in pursuit of a higher purpose and a deeper connection with the self and the universe. The practice of semen retention is not new. It has been extolled by sages, mystics, and thinkers across various cultures and epochs for its spiritual benefits. These traditions suggest that conserving one's vital energy can lead to heightened spiritual awareness, greater creativity, and a sense of inner peace. This isn't merely a spiritual or ascetic pursuit. It's a practical approach to living a more balanced, fulfilling life. As we delve deeper into the philosophy behind semen retention, it's essential to address the skepticism that often surrounds this practice. To the uninitiated, the idea that abstaining from ejaculation could lead to profound personal and spiritual growth might seem far-fetched or even pseudoscientific. However, when we look beyond the surface, and explore the experiences of those who have walked this path, a different picture emerges. There's a rich tapestry of anecdotal evidence that suggests semen retention can be a catalyst for incredible transformation. From enhanced mental clarity and emotional resilience to deeper relationships and an increased sense of purpose, the reported benefits are both varied and compelling. The connection between semen retention and personal growth is not merely about the physical act of retention, but about the discipline and self-control it cultivates. This practice challenges individuals to master their impulses, directing their energy towards more productive and fulfilling pursuits. In doing so, it becomes a powerful exercise in mindfulness and intentionality. Every moment of temptation resisted is a victory for the self a step towards greater self-mastery and inner strength. This process of continuous self-improvement and discipline shapes not only our character, but our destiny, aligning us more closely with our highest ideals and aspirations. Moreover, semen retention is often accompanied by the practice of transmutation of sexual energy. This concept, popularized by thinkers such as Napoleon Hill, suggests that the energy typically expended through sexual activity can be redirected towards other areas of life, including creative, professional, and spiritual endeavors. This transmutation is not about suppression, but about transformation, channeling a potent source of energy into paths that can lead to greater achievements and a more profound sense of fulfillment. The stories of historical figures and modern-day practitioners alike offer a glimpse into the potential unlocked by those who learn to harness this energy effectively. 
the societal implications of semen retention and its growing popularity cannot be overlooked. In a world increasingly characterized by instant gratification and superficial connections, this practice stands as a counterpoint, advocating for depth, patience, and self-discipline. It challenges prevailing narratives about masculinity and sexuality, offering an alternative vision of strength and fulfillment rooted in self-control and self-awareness. As more individuals embrace semen retention and share their experiences, we're witnessing the emergence of a movement that seeks to redefine personal success and happiness in terms more meaningful and sustainable than those offered by mainstream culture. By embracing semen retention, individuals report experiencing a range of positive outcomes, from increased confidence and motivation to a deeper sense of connection with others and the world around them. These anecdotes, while subjective, point to a common truth. When we align our actions with our higher values and goals, the universe seems to respond in kind. This alignment is not always easy. It requires discipline, self-awareness, and a willingness to confront and overcome our baser instincts. But the rewards, as many have attested, are well worth the effort. From unexpected opportunities and successes to profound personal transformations, the stories of those who practice semen retention are a testament to the power of this discipline. As we explore this topic, it's important to approach it with an open mind and a critical eye. Skepticism is natural, especially in the face of claims that might seem at odds with conventional wisdom or scientific understanding. Yet the experiences of countless individuals who have embraced this practice suggest that there is more to semen retention than mere superstition or pseudoscience. The challenge, then, is to sift through the anecdotal evidence and personal testimonies to uncover the underlying truths. This journey is not just about semen retention per se, but about understanding the broader principles it represents, self-control, self-respect, and the pursuit of a higher purpose. In embracing these principles, we find ourselves on a path to self-improvement that is both deeply personal and universally relevant. This path is not without its obstacles and challenges, but it is also marked by moments of clarity, joy, and profound insight. If you've made it this far into the video, I'm genuinely interested in hearing about your experiences or thoughts on semen retention. Do you believe that the universe rewards those who practice this discipline? Have you noticed any changes in your own life that you attribute to semen retention? Your insights and stories are invaluable to this discussion, and I look forward to reading your comments. As we continue to explore the impact of semen retention on our lives and the world, it's clear that this practice is about much more than abstaining from sexual release. It's about cultivating a mindset and a way of life that honors our deepest values and aspirations. It's about choosing to live consciously, with intention and purpose, rather than being driven by fleeting desires and external pressures. This conscious choice to practice semen retention is, in many ways, a radical act of self-love and self-respect. It's a declaration that we are more than our base instincts and desires, that we have the power to shape our destiny and contribute to a more conscious, compassionate world. As we embark on this journey, we are not alone. The community of individuals who have chosen this path is growing, and the collective wisdom and support available can be a powerful resource for those seeking to navigate the challenges and rewards of semen retention. In conclusion, semen retention is more than a practice. It's a philosophy of living that challenges us to rethink our relationship with ourselves, our desires, and the world. By embracing this discipline, we open ourselves to a universe of possibilities where growth, transformation, and enlightenment are not just ideals, but realities we can experience in our everyday lives. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of semen retention and its profound implications. Your engagement and support mean the world to me, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share these insights with you. If you found value in this discussion, please consider supporting the channel by buying a coffee through the link in the description. Your generosity helps us continue to explore and share these transformative ideas. Your support is greatly appreciated.